down very deep and I just flipped out something small and round. It's got an iron back, so I'm thinking definitely a button of some sort, maybe an overall button. Oh, it's a Lee jeans button. Uh, it's definitely a vintage one though, so that's a really cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this one was just barely below the surface. That looks like some sort of old copper ring. The dirt's gonna be a little bit tough to push out of this one. Let's see if we got anything on the face. Huh, it is a little bit crusty, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, but it looks very, very old. So hopefully it'll be something cool. So here's the ring all cleaned up. It says, don't rush me, big boy. And it's got some uh, stuff on the sides. It is broken on the back, but I'm not entirely sure how old it is. If I can find any sort of date, I will loop you in. But it's still a really cool find. It's definitely an old ring. Let's see if we get something else. So this was barely under the surface. And uh, huh, we've got a, what appears to be some sort of coin purse. It does not feel like there's anything inside. It hit like a nickel, but, oh, it is starting to break at the top there. I'm gonna be really careful with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this down to the side and recheck the hole. Maybe there'll be something else in here. It does not sound like it, but if there's anything else in there, I'll loop you in. And if not, I'll get that uh, purse cleaned up and loop you in with that. So, just my luck, this is the contents of the coin purse. Still a really, really cool relic though. This is definitely something I've been wanting to find. Definitely full of coins, but still, even without the coins, this is an awesome find, so I will certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. So, no, normally I don't show my trash, but this was just too cool. It's not every day you can unroll a, a tube of something and still see the entire logo. This is a trademark Vaseline white petroleum jelly. I'm not entirely sure when this dates to, but I'll throw up a date for you if I can find one. Oh, there's a lot of nice little fancy on the cap, so it's a cool find. It's definitely got some H to it. Let's see if we get something else. So again, just barely below the surface, and I just flipped up this thing. It's got a really old patina to it, so I'm thinking possibly some sort of like earring or piece of jewelry or something like that. Whatever it is, it's an interesting find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I just went down maybe an inch or two and flipped out that. I'm gonna take a wild guess that is probably play money from the 50s and yeah, that's exactly what that's gonna be. 10 cents as I drop it. These things are about the same size as a trime, so they give you a scare every single time, but this side's a little bit wiped, but uh, it's definitely a 10 cent play coin, so it's a cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So in there is just a bunch of mixed up bits of iron. I don't know how I picked this out, but I got this tiny, tiny little buckle. It looks like it's got a Victorian-esque pattern on it, so it's definitely, definitely going to be pretty old. Uh, not entirely sure what it would have came off of. It's really tiny, but it's still a really cool, really cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So this was right on top of the ground. Remember that mystery item from earlier? I thought it was a piece of jewelry, and I was right because I just found the other earring to the set. And these are extremely old, so they have the twist connect thingies. They like twist them on, tighten it onto your ear. So these are probably gonna go back into the 20s at the least, but that's a really cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So I just flipped up that from right up against a retaining wall. And actually I think I can see Revlon New York. So that's gonna be a vintage lipstick tube of some sort. Let's see if we can get a logo on the bottom. Not that I can see, but that's a really cool find. It's definitely got some H to it. Let's see if we get something else. So this was right next to the lipstick tube. You can see down in the hole, we've got what appears to be a clock gear of some sort. I know it's just a piece of old junk, but I find these things to be super cool. And I actually do uh, put these in a jar when I get home. Well, that's a really cool find. I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So I just flipped out what appears to be another old button. Not sure entirely what's on this one, and it is crusty as crusty can be. Uh, I can feel a shank on the back. It's definitely an iron button. Let's see if a pants rub will get any detail through. And yes, that actually is going to get some detail through. And I believe that is going to be a Boy Scout button. And again, definitely a vintage one based on the old patina. It's definitely been here a while. But that is a really cool find. If I can clean it up a little bit better to 
read what's on the banner, I will loop you in. If not, let's see if we get something else. So it looks like we've got another little button down there. And this one is not far from that Boy Scouts button. So I'm hoping, and yeah, and that's exactly what that's gonna be is another one of those Boy Scout buttons. So that is an awesome find there. I will certainly take that. Let's see if we get something else. So this one sounded just like tin foil. Um, bingo, maybe. I have no clue. Oh my goodness, that wiped perfectly clean. I am uh, pretty sure that's going to be gold. I am 100% sure. It's, oh, it's beautiful. It's a little baby ring. It's got a cross on it. So this is going to need some further cleaning, and I will loop you back in. So here's the little ring all cleaned up. It is uh, most certainly gold. It says AAJ on the inside. That is the maker's mark. And I, if I had to take a guess, it's probably 10 or 14 carat. Um, the inside is a little bit dirty, so it's gonna be tough to see that. But I will throw up whatever the back mark is and what type of gold it is. But I am absolutely thrilled to have a gold ring. It's my first piece of gold since 2018. So in the pouch that'll go, let's see if we get something else. So I am down onto something tiny here. That looks to be a button and that looks familiar. I found this button about a year ago and promptly lost it from my pouch. I even went back later in the day to try finding it again and just could not. And I am happy to say that I've got it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit and I will loop you back in. So here is the button all cleaned up. It was a little bit tough, but there is the uh, shank in the back. It's a little bit off-centered. And if I can get that to focus for you, there's a little flower pattern on the front, super pretty. And this looks a little bit on the older side, definitely Victorian, possibly even into the 1800s. So that's a really cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. So this one was way down there, just about as deep as the pinpointer. And I just flipped up that. That's a little tag of some sort, no clue what it is. Maybe a dog tax tag? I believe I see Omaha on it, so it's probably a dog tax tag, and I think I see 1930 something, actually. That could be very, very old. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. When I got it cleaned, I'll loop you back in. So here's the dog tax tag all cleaned up. It is from Omaha. And the date, 1931. It's a little bit tough to see, so I'll have a better shot for you in the wrap-up, but that is super cool. That is my oldest Omaha dog tax tag as of now. So I will certainly take that. Let's see if we get something else. So the targets are getting deeper. I just pulled my now third ring of the day, second one that's a junker. And this one appears to just be a plain copper band but still a really cool find. I will definitely take that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the inside and if there's a back mark, I'll loop you in. If not, let's see if we get something else. So I'm actually still waiting on my first old coin for today, but the relics are still pouring in this. Not entirely sure what it is. I would assume that's probably a broken shank. So this is probably some sort of really fancy button. So I will certainly take that. It's a really cool find. Let's see if we get something else. So I just flipped up the dirt on a copper penny signal and that came fly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see the inside. Uh, that's going to be my first ever complete pocket watch. It's falling apart, but uh, that is still a pocket watch. Um, that is interesting. It's not precious. It's definitely just plated, but that is super, super fancy. I'll see if I can get the face for you cleaned up. Yeah, that is super, super fancy. And then here is the rest of it complete. I am absolutely floored with that. Um, this is something that's been towards the top of my bucket list for a while now. And finally finding one feels amazing. So I will certainly take it. Let's see if we get something else. Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another wrap up from my return trip to a Midtown Omaha mansion. So this time around, I got zero coins, but the relics were really plentiful. I spent the day digging mostly lower tones. So there were not many high tone, high coin tones to go around, but here's my take from the hunt. I got this little clock gear here, a couple items with patent dates. This little one is December 31st of 1895, and this one, it's a little bit tough to see, but it's 1893. 
And I got into a lipstick tube as well. This one is a Revlon New York. Um, this little bit here, I thought it was sterling, but it is just plated. It's a uh, fountain pen cap. I got onto a coin purse. Sadly, no coins were inside of it, but still a really cool piece there with the uh, chain mesh. I got my first ever pocket watch that is complete. So this was a huge bucket lister. A lot of fancy on the uh, back there, silver plate. And then inside, um, you can see the gut still. And then, again, no coins, but I did get a 10 cent play coin and my oldest Omaha dog tax tag ever. This one is dated 1931, if you can see that down there. Now, onto the buttons. I got a lot of them. I got a Lee jeans rivet, a couple Boy Scout buttons, and then a couple uh, fancier ones. This one here, I had lost it at my first time around at the site and refound it. And then a couple of the other little jewelry type stuff. I got a little fancy gold-plated buckle of some sort and a pair of brass earrings. And now onto the rings. I got a total of three. These are the two junkers. I got just a plain uh, brass band. And then this one here is a really cool one. It dates to the 30s or 40s and says, Don't Rush Me, Big Boy, which is a, a Little Rascals reference. And then my find of the day, this beautiful 10 karat gold ring. It is a, a child's ring and it is a vintage one. Um, it's going to be tough to see, but in there it'll say AAJ is the maker. And uh, the 10 karat is in an extremely tough spot, but uh, that is my first gold since 2018. So I am super thrilled to have it. But that was my hunt, guys. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.